Hao Oli Makahikiho, Hava EACTE, and welcome back to Navigating the New Normal video workshop series. I can't wait to share with you what's coming up next. We're going to showcase how a culinary arts program at Leeward Community College transitioned their classes online. They'll be sharing some helpful resources such as custom videos, student take home kits, and modified kitchens to help you in your classroom navigate the new normal. Sit back because it starts in three, two, one. Aloha, my name is Don Mariyama. I am with the Culinary Arts Program at Leeward Community College. Thank you very much for joining us for this presentation on navigating the new normal. Uh, leading up to the fall 2020 semester, the, all the faculty at Leeward were encouraged to use a distance education format for as many classes as possible. However, you all realize that it's very difficult to teach CTE courses such as culinary without some hands-on components. So what the program decided to do was adopt a hybrid modality where there's some online delivery and some face-to-face -face instruction. So I did quite a bit to adapt to this new format, but one thing I did do and that I'd like to speak about is recording videos. So over the summer, with the assistance of the Educational Media Center staff here, I recorded about 35 videos for my Fundamentals of Cookery class. Uh, the videos range from anywhere from 3 to 15 minutes. And then I uploaded them into my, my Laulima site for the Fundamentals of Cookery class. Laulima is the University of Hawaii's online learning management system. And the videos were generally categorized in six different areas. One being uh, kitchen tours or virtual kitchen tours. Uh, the next was a series of videos on knife skills. I did some videos on a variety of knives, how to sharpen a knife, and then some basic knife um, cuts. Uh, I followed that by a series of videos on um, utensils and smallwares. Then I moved on to larger pieces of kitchen equipment, such as tilting skillet, tilting kettle, the steamers, etc. One advantage of doing videos was I was able to get into very small crap quarters like the pilot lights. So I was able to demonstrate how to light pilot lights on stovetops, the fryers, and the ovens. And then I uh, did a few videos on mise en place. So how to set up a station for knife cutting or a basic cooking station. And I also did a more uh, in-depth video on the breading uh, mise en place. Um, and then I did upload a few videos to Lao Lima on cooking techniques such as stock making, how to clarify butter, uh, and then pan frying. Uh, time permitting, in the future I hope to do more videos uh, with, on cooking techniques. Uh, finally, I think the advantages of doing these videos in this COVID pandemic was Number one, we were able to do a little bit more physical distancing. The students didn't have to gather around a table to watch these demonstrations. The other advantage that uh, I found was that students came to class well prepared because they were able to watch these videos prior to class and they were able to watch them again if they wanted to reinforce what techniques or principles were covered in the videos. So I'd like to thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video and hopefully it was helpful. Aloha, I'm Chef Lee Allen Dung. I teach the Asian Continental Cuisine class here at Leeward Community College Culinary Arts. Um, how I adapted to uh, this online teaching 
um, I took to Zoom and uh, my first day I, I broke up the week into uh, several parts the first part I lectured as normal I would uh, throughout the week uh, for each cuisine that I teach and <clears throat> Once I finished lecture, uh, I created a menu for them, a menu project for them to complete uh, throughout the week. They uh, came in the next day, the next morning, and they came to pick up a market basket of products to complete this project for the week. And when they came in, the one thing I did do, because my students uh, won't have that immediate feedback um, if they did have questions on the project was I first created videos of each dish within the project and uh, I was able to upload it uh, to our Laulima site where they could access it and um, watch it as many times as, as they wanted to um, just to feel comfortable before they started doing their project. Secondly, I also created the dish for them to taste when they came in to pick up their product because a lot of them didn't know uh, what the product was supposed to taste like uh, because a lot of it was new to them. Um, once, once they came in to pick up their product, uh, we met the following morning to see if they had any questions um, before they started working on their project, um, if I could answer any questions any questions then I gave them a day and a half to work and finish their product on their own at home um, once they finished their product they had to take pictures of their products send it back to me and they took pictures at different stages along the preparation um, at the beginning when they they're doing their mise en place how they set up their station while they were cooking as well as their finished dish and once the dish was finished um, they had to write me a reflection on what they did and um, go through the thought process of, of what they've learned through, through the project. And we found out that the reflection was probably one of the best teaching tools for them because they had to really look back on what they did and, and, and ask themselves, what did they do? What did they learn? And they had to teach it back to me and tell it back to me. So it was a great learning, um, a learning piece for both them as well as myself as an instructor. And so now I implement that, even though my class is face-to-face -face now, I, I make sure that each week we do a reflection on the week's project. Hi, my name is Jasmine Wood and I'm a student in the Culinary Arts program at Leeward Community College. I was in Chef Lee's Asian Continental class and I felt that um, the instructors did everything that they could to give us the education that we deserve despite being in a pandemic and everyone having to adapt to change. Of course, it's not going to be the same as it would be face to face, but I personally feel like I still got the exposure that I needed from the different cuisines that we got to cover throughout the semester. Um, we had lectures on Mondays. We got to go over the different cuisines, kind of discuss what we'd be doing for the week. And on Tuesdays, we'd come to the campus, pick up um, care packages that Chef Lee put together with all of our ingredients, all the stuff that we needed. And he also went the extra mile to create the dishes for us so that we could sample them. Just kind of like to have a guideline so that we would know what our dishes should be tasting like when we're making them at home. Um, he was always available to answer whatever questions that we had. I mean, despite not being there during class, we could always ask if we needed help with anything. And I think the biggest thing for me that was like the greatest learning point taking away from face-to-face -face and being online was that we had a weekly reflection that we did at the end of um, every cuisine. And that's something that you normally wouldn't do in face-to-face. -face. And I feel like I was able to self-reflect on what I had learned on that cuisine and I, um, what I found interesting, as well as how I could use the knowledge that I learned in my future culinary endeavors. Hi, I'm 
Chef Abby, and I'm an instructor here at Leeward Community College, and I teach Fundamentals of Baking. Um, so my semester, last semester, spring 2020, my, my baking class luckily was, was all finished and done before the pandemic occurred. So my new semester um, in the fall, I had to get ready for. And we found out that I could only have half my class in the bake shop at one time. So I had to split my class. I basically had two sections of my class in the bake shop at a time. And because of this, I, um, they were only gonna have two lab days a week instead of their regular four. Um, getting ready for my class during the summer, I had to do a lot of work. So I did a lot of demos and videos with the EMC department here at Leeward. Um, I was lucky to have their um, guidance and help with my videos. And um, my students, um, would be, they basically got to look at these videos before they came in. And I found that they were really actually much better prepared than in previous semesters. So I thought it went really well. The other thing I did was I um, pre-recorded all of my lectures with Loom and PowerPoint. Um, and so they were able to do, look at the videos and look at the Loom lectures on their two days off. I also gave them at-home assignments as well. Um, things that were simple to do in their at-home kitchens, such as um, making cookies, quick breads, crepes. Um, so I think it went pretty well. Most of this, the stuff they did at home turned out pretty, pretty good. And then they would bring it back to me on their next lab day. Um, I actually liked this format. I liked having eight people in the lab at one time. Um, I, I could really give them all of my attention a lot more than when I have 16. And I also thought that they came into the lab much better prepared. Um, so I think even going forward in a regular semester, I would probably have them review these videos in the future. Hi, my name is Matthew Agami and I'm a chef instructor here at New York Community College and I teach the Fundamentals 2 course here where it's basically a short order class. So really the goal of our restaurant is we run a, is, excuse me, the goal of our class is that we run a restaurant and we take the students from the skills that they learned in Fundamentals 1 and we teach them how to put it into practice in a real life restaurant that's open to everyone. Um, obviously with the pandemic and the shutdown, there are a lot of changes that we had to make. Uh, the biggest one was that we couldn't have the students actually in person, and of course we couldn't open a restaurant. So there are a number of things that we, that we did um, to try and give the students the best educational experience that we could given the situation. And what I did in my class is I basically split it up where on Mondays we would lecture on the topic or lessons of the week and then I would actually spend the rest of the day making care packages um, full of ingredients and recipes for the students to uh, pick up. Tuesday they would come and pick up. I would actually have samples um, and a plated version of the dishes they were making for that week ready for them to not just taste but also see. And then on Wednesday, they would all log on to Google Meets and we I would demo all the dishes for them in live time. And then they would have an opportunity to ask questions or to get clarification on things. Um, and then they actually spent the rest of that day at home prepping and writing out what we call a mise en place list. Like, so basically a timeline um, and an organization of all the items and all the things that they have to do for the next day. And then on Thursdays, I would have them come in groups of four and they would actually be recording themselves live making the dishes for me. Um, as the semester went on, we actually started adding some time limits into it. So we tried to up the challenge and replicate to the extent we can some of the pressures that um, inherent to a real life kitchen, right? A real life restaurant. Um, and so through that, we tried to as much as possible replicate 
what an experience would be like receiving an order, having a timeline, producing it with quality, sending out to the guests. Um, obviously, we did miss out on some of the things like tasting and, and you know, some of the critical textural feedback that they would get. But within the online format, I was able to give them actual real live feedback during, the, during their cooking. So um, I think it worked out okay. But, um, you know, whenever things like this happen, we always have to adjust and we, we do the best we can. Hi, my name is Jasmine Villa Gomez. I am a student at Leeward Community College in the Culinary Arts Program. Um, so for this new normal that we're doing, um, it was a little difficult at first for me because I never really got that face-to-face -face interaction with the teachers and immediate feedback. But however, um, for my short order cookery class with Chef Matt, we were always doing videos live, so he would try to give as much feedback to us as possible, even though we weren't actually face-to-face. -face. Um, I was a little bummed out that we didn't actually get to run the restaurant and actually get that kind of experience but I feel like he did the best that he could with giving that kind of experience with when we actually did do our cooking. I also had Chef Abby's class um, this previous semester. Um, as she said, she did have to split her classes because she couldn't fit as much people. But I would say that actually going to lab classes uh, and getting that immediate feedback did help, but I would have loved to have more face-to-face, -face, but due to six feet social distancing, you now we had to work things out. And um, uh, the experience overall, I would say, was really good, considering how difficult this pandemic is with having to social distance and be safe. Hello, my name is uh, Chef Chris Garnier. I teach uh, Culinary 223 Contemporary Cuisine here at Leeward Community College Culinary Arts Program. Uh, and in this class, we actually um, house the Pearl Restaurant, which we serve a live, uh, live setting of lunch. Um, this past spring, we had the opportunity to revisit uh, each of our courses and us as a faculty came together and uh, since we only could meet the students once a week, we packed their lesson plans. Uh, it gave me the time to revisit my lesson plans and actually uh, record, record our, all of our recipes together and I actually broke it down by skills. I also did a lot of virtual tours such as our farm uh, right here on campus to work with our Ag 251 class, uh, horticulture by uh, Professor Elliot, and uh, also made a YouTube channel so feel free to follow me on my YouTube channel here, uh, Chef Chris Garnier, and uh, see you guys soon. Aloha. My name is Jaylene Tuor, and I have the pleasure and opportunity of teaching our Culinary 160 Dining Room Operations course here at Leeward Community College. Um, in this class, uh, we go beyond what it's like to teach the students on uh, how to be a great server uh, and really focus on what it's like to run and operate a successful restaurant and also how to, what it's like to be a true leader in our industry. Uh, one of the ways that we've adapted to our online format here um, during these very unique times um, and quite honestly, what we found to be very impactful and beneficial for our students is to kind of go beyond the technical side of what it's like to be a server and really dive into the critical thinking aspect of our industry. Um, we have created a handful of real world restaurant scenarios, uh, situations that challenge the students to think beyond um, the textbook uh, we created scenarios that involved how to deal with the challenging guests and also how to guide and coach our employees um, in the direction of where the future is headed. Um, 
We feel that now more than ever, it's our goal to teach our students to make decisions in this industry based off of hope and not fear. And I think that that's the main uh, goal that we had in mind over these uh, last few semesters. Hi, my name is Callie Perry and I am a student at the Culinary Arts Program at Lehman Community College. And in the, the spring semester of 2020, the corona pandemic hit and we had to transition from in-class sessions to online class. And while it was a very abrupt transition, it was a very smooth transition. And even though we were online and not able to interact with guests or open the restaurant or interact with Chef Chris in his class, we were still able to learn more about hospitality, leadership, and critical thinking when it comes to being in the front of the house of the restaurant. Thankfully, with our online classes, we were still able to learn about all of the um, basics of front of the house with table setup, the approaching guests, how to seat them at a table, and, and so forth. Granted, we would have liked more if we were in the restaurant, but we had to make do with what we had, and it went very well.